today. Uh, the press conference follows pretty much the same fashion where uh, Coach will address us, Percy will address us, I'll take questions, and then uh, team training starts at three. So you guys are welcome to capture the first 15 minutes of training. And after we have our official presser, you guys can go down to the pitch, set up, and you're welcome to have one-on-ones with the coach as well as with Percy. Um, it's also time dependent, so please, if you guys could just be cognizant of time, but at about 10-2, I have to release both the coach as well as Percy to get ready for training. Uh, on that so note, I think it's best to do yeah. that so that the mics don't go to and fro if everybody is happy with that. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over now to Coach Hugo Bros to address the media. Coach, it's all yours. Yes. Thank you. Good afternoon. So as uh, you know and uh, often said, the last uh, days we are playing tomorrow a game against a very strong opponent. I think um, for the moment Morocco is maybe the best team in Africa. Um, they showed it already eight months ago by ending fourth in the World Championship. So that means that you have much quality. And um, if you see how this team is composed, players who are playing in big teams in Europe, so we know very good what uh, we can expect tomorrow. At the other side, I'm very happy with um, what I saw in training for my team. I think um, my team is ready to play a good game tomorrow. And um, it's a good test for us, but also to show that um, the progression we made comparing the game one year ago in Morocco. Um, I think the guys are ready for it. They are motivated. I feel that. Um, but again, as I said also the last uh, few days, um, the result tomorrow is not the most important thing. Um, if we, we will do everything to win that game, this is for sure. But maybe we lose it. And it can be very interesting interesting for us um, if we were beaten by Morocco. Um, there, those are games you, you need to progress um, and, and therefore um, a defeat tomorrow will not be a catastrophe. Certainly not. Uh, we can learn a lot. We are still growing as a team. Uh, we are not at the level we wanted to be and that's we're working on it to be on the level we wanted in January. And therefore, again, the game of tomorrow is a good test. We can compare this game of tomorrow with the game of uh, one year ago and see the progression we made and show the progression we made tomorrow in that game. So again, we, we are confident we can make... Um, a good game, what I saw again on training, uh, give me confidence. But again, you play against a good team tomorrow and we will see what uh, the result after 90 minutes will be. All right, taking uh, questions for Coach Hugo. No questions. <laughs> go ahead in the front. I, I have one, but it's in French. So it's all right, go ahead, please. Um, J'ai l'impression que les Bafana, Bafana, Bafana ont perdu un petit peu d'intérêt auprès du public. Ils sont moins populaires parce qu'ils n'ont pas fait des grands matchs, ils n'ont pas rencontré des grandes équipes. Demain, c'est un match de gala, c'est le Maroc, vous l'avez dit. Est-ce que c'est aussi l'occasion peut-être de renouer avec votre public Have to speak English No, you can speak in French. Oh, French. you can French. <laughs> OK. Uh, mais non, c'est... Um, le moment idéal, je pense, pour, pour faire une belle performance contre une équipe comme le Maroc. Euh, il est vrai que tous les matchs qu'on a joués à domicile ont été dans un stade vide, ce qui n'est pas agréable pour les joueurs, pour personne, parce qu'il y a des moments dans le match où tu as besoin de, du public. Euh, et surtout, surtout, contre un adversaire comme, comme demain. Euh, C'est pour ça que quand je... Je peux croire, c'est comme on dit, il y aura du monde demain. 
Donc à nous, à nous de prendre cette occasion de, 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 ben oui, de faire une belle performance et, et, et que pour les matchs qui vont suivre, qu'on a de nouveau un public qui sera présent dans le, dans le stade. Donc dans un sens, ce n'est pas seulement euh, cet adversaire, mais aussi un petit peu regagner, regagner le public pour, euh, pour cette équipe Bafana Bafana. So what I said is, is the opportunity is, is there and we have to take that opportunity. We played uh, all our own home games in uh, an empty stadium the last two years. Uh, it's not uh, not nice for a team who, who comes on the, on the pitch and you look around and there is nobody. And you need that public certain moments in the game when it's a little bit less certain against an opponent like tomorrow. If you have a public who, is, uh, who, who supports you, you can do more. Uh, that is one. And secondly, again, we have to to win back that public. Uh, Bafana Bafana is not very popular here in South Africa. So maybe tomorrow it's the, the, the good and maybe the best opportunity to win back that public and to play in the next months again um, in stadiums where, where there will be crowd and where there will be supporters who will support us. Thank you. Next question. Two, three, four, five. Coach, uh, yeah. I'm Mujaro from Sokala Duma. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Um, for this game against Morocco, you welcome back and Jovino Brom to the to the squad. Um, he wasn't around for the for the Liberian counters. Um, what does it mean to have him come back um, after he's been in such scintillating form in America and into the team that maybe was not as didn't perform to its best when you were playing um, against Liberia? What does it mean to have him come back? Yes, I said it already. Yeah. I'm, uh, first of all, I'm very happy that tomorrow we have an opponent like, like Morocco. Um, I think and I'm sure that uh, comparing with one year ago that, uh, that we make progression, that we have, we have a better team now than one year ago. So the opportunity tomorrow is there against such an opponent. So um, I think we have to grab it with our two hands. And, uh, and try to have a good performance against that team. And it will give us a boost for, uh, for the next months. And certainly, certainly it's a little bit, uh, how can I say it, um, uh, maybe ridiculous to say that this is a good preparation for AFCOM, but it is, it is. You have a test now. You can really see where we are against an opponent like this. And therefore, I'm very happy with it. Next question. Can you say thank you? Coach, you've spoken at length about um, what Morocco brings to the team, um, the quality. What is it exactly that you want to learn from this game and take it forward for the September games and the African Nations uh, and the AFCON next year? You know that um, when you remember the game in Morocco, we were 50 minutes in the game, the first 50 minutes. And after that, it was finished. We were dominated in every line. Of, of the team, um, in every aspect of football, speed, technique, whatever you wanted. And we were lucky that we only lost with 2-1. So I want to see now tomorrow that this is not the case anymore. Maybe, maybe there will be moments in the, in, the, in the game we will be dominated because this is a very good team. I said it already, maybe the best team of Africa for the moment. But we have to, to show more than that we showed in, uh, in um, Rabat one year ago. And if we can succeed to do that, I think we are really on the good way. And, and no, then we can say that, that uh, Bafana, Bafana made progress in the last year. And you can build on that progress you did already till now. And, and making this team still better and be ready, really ready for Afghan in January. Next question, guys, please don't forget to say your name and the media house that you represent. Go ahead, sir. Uh, my name is Ilias, I'm from Morocco. I'm representing the Moroccan News Agency. 
Uh, so my question is about the, the players, are they, because um, now it's like it's, uh, both teams are qualified already, right? So are they going to be motivated enough to, to give all uh, their heart to the game? You can be sure of that. Yes, again, again, I think if you are a player and you can play against a team like Morocco for the moment, you want to show yourself. If you don't have that mentality, you have to stop playing football. So I saw the guys now for one week together and, 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 and I, see, I see that they are ready and that to try to show tomorrow eh, that, that they are good players, to show that we are a good team. The motivation is there. And okay, I understand a little bit what you want to say. Both teams are qualified. So what are we playing for? We're playing for prestige. And this is something very important also. Also for Morocco, if they can beat us, but also for us. And maybe more for us, because then we beat the best team for the moment of Africa. So the motivation is there, you can be sure. Next question. All right, Coach, CS2 Pussy from CGTN. Um, you speak of progression with the team and, and how far the team has come. What ideally would you like to see come the Africa Cup of Nations next year from your team and from your players? Yes, I want to see good football. And, and um, you know, for me, um, what I said already, suddenly in September last year, the puzzle was complete and we built up with that team. And then you have the Liberia game here. So it started very well and then suddenly... I think everybody thought from it's done. And then they came back at 2-2. But the reaction we had three days later in Liberia, that was for me something to say, oh, we progress. Because there we played maybe not a great uh, match, but we did it in another way. We knew that we had to, 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 to fight for it. We knew that on that pitch we couldn't play a good football. No, it was more mentality, also with good football, because we resaw a little bit uh, that game. We have chances there. So we played sometimes also good football. So I saw the progression there, and that was for me important. And again, we are not at the end for the moment. OK, we are good for the moment, but we will see tomorrow how much work we still have to do in the next uh, six months. Two more questions for Coach Hugo. The Lille and the end of the end of the platform. Oh, can I ask Percy? No, we're not doing Percy now, we're doing the coach. Seeing that you were late, so we're starting here, we're moving there, so it's coaches for uh, questions for Coach Hugo. Okay. Um, coach, we live from SNDC. I, I look at the squad that Morocco has brought. Um, does it also give you how they respect in terms of um, this game? Respect? Yes. Sure we have respect for that team. No, no, no. I'm saying the squad that they've brought. I mean, they've brought uh, uh, most of their players were in the World Cup and the, the core uh, of their team. So it, it talks to how they respect you and how also they're taking serious this game. Yeah, but, you know... Um, Three years ago, two years ago, Morocco was not Morocco where they are now. So that means that they did a very good job there. And I know, I know how they are working because there is a Belgian guy who is head of the youth, Chris van Pavel. So I know how they work with young players and how they develop them and so on. So I think it has to be a little example for us how to do it here in South Africa. That, that, shows, that shows what we said always before, yeah, as an African team on World Cup uh, group stages and we are happy and then we go home. If they were a little bit lucky, they were in final, eh, Morocco. And I know what they said when the draw was with Belgium, Croatia, Morocco and Canada. Wow, oh, Belgium and Croatia. The other teams will not go through. You saw what happened. So they make a big progression that means that it's possible. But you can't do it on, with a finger nip. 
It's impossible. You have to work on it. So I think we are working on it and we are still very far off what happened in the Morocco till now, but we are on the good way. So let's test tomorrow and let's see where we are. And, 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 and after that game, we will analyze it and see what we still need. But it is possible. And, and I have a, a big respect with, for the performances and, um, and the progression that Morocco uh, did in the last two years. Jonti, then Lorenz, and that's the end of the questions for Coach Hugo. Um, Jonti, Mark, I'm a Citizen newspaper coach. Just um, with the squad, just a simple questions. How, how many, do you have any injuries uh, or any problems in the squad? No. Nope. Is everybody fine? Everyone is top fit. Um, okay. Yeah. And, and I have to say, it's maybe the first time in the camp since I'm here. <laughs> yeah, really. The doctor and, uh, and the physiotherapist don't have really work to do. When I go in the medical room, the boys are sitting there for a good massage. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but a real, a real injury. Percy, it's true, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. So that means also something. What's it like? Yeah, but you know when you have problems with injuries and guys who don't feel good, yeah, it's it's not it's not uh, nice. It's not good. No, everybody is happy and okay. Right. That's mentally. It's also a good thing. Lorenz, last question uh, for Coach Hugo. From Times. Um, you rightfully said that Tofana is not world beaters, and you shouldn't be surprised if we maybe lose this game. Yeah. But how difficult is it to try and balance? Uh, getting results and playing entertaining football because in order to get the fans back in stadiums and supporting, you also need to entertain them. So how difficult is it for you to balance trying to get a result and trying to entertain? Yeah, but when, when I, I'm, I'm saying I want a good performance and I want a result, it's not that we are going to play in our 16 and, and 90 minutes and then 0-0 zero, zero and we are happy. No. No, we have to play football also. And we have sometimes hurt a little bit this Moroccan team. That they're a little bit surprised. Oh, this is something else than one year ago. We are not, we will not be dominated for 90 minutes and, and that Percy only see the, the, the middle circle and for the rest, uh, the, other, uh, um, the other side of the field, he never sees. No, that, that, that's not, that's not uh, what we want. We want to play football, we want to play with Morocco and have a good game. And then, OK, we will see where we end. But that is, that is the goal for tomorrow. Playing in a good game, have maybe some chances and, and, and not be dominated like we were one year ago. All right, we're now going to move the mics over.